All right. Hey guys. <laughs> um, I just wanted to show you what I'm going to be doing to this piece here. Um, I, I have already painted it twice with um, this really great blue color, which I'm sure is going to scare you. But it looked like this before. It's like bright blue. Ah. So anyway, what I'm going to be doing is adding this to it. Can already see it, can't you? Oops. Anyway, let's get started. What do you say? Wanna watch me? Okay. I just wanna say thanks to uh, J. Mary Vintage, um, Davis Design Diary, Dion, Quita, all those girls are fabulous. Fab fabulous. And you guys are my inspiration. I've not done this before. This is my first time, but I thought I'd try because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there thinking like, can I do this? I don't know. But we're gonna see. For this project, I used two kinds of chalk paint, Valspar Chalky Finish Paint and Rust-Oleum Chalked. I mixed the pink and blue color to create a purple and alternated between the purple, the pink, the blue, and the white, spraying with my squirt bottle of water to create the drippy boho effect. Sorry, I guess someone decided they wanted to call me. So, we're back. I wanted more of an artistic look, so I kept the pulls on and painted over them so that they blended in. I learned this technique from a video posted by Jamie Ray Vintage. She uses Debbie's Design Diary DIY chalk and clay based paint. The chalk paint I am using must react differently to water because my paint began to crack and want to slide off. I had to be very careful painting any spots over again until it dried. The crackles were not planned, but I ended up making my piece look really unique and dried without any issues. Cool. 
pretty happy with it. <laughs> it's like cotton candy. Love machine. It's a love machine. A love machine. I can't find it. Be back. Okay guys, I finished the dresser. I'm sorry I did not record the sides and top being painted like I had planned, but I put it online, I sold it right away, and it was going in the bedroom of a 14-year-old girl. Her mother came by and bought it. She loved it. So thank you guys for watching. If you'd give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I'll have more DIY and furniture painting videos coming soon. For before and after photos of this project and other projects that I have completed, visit my Facebook page at The Mam Shabam.